is an older video again, but I filmed and added some random music too and just uploaded it. I didn't have a voiceover or anything. Whereas when I filmed the video, it was supposed to be a marker review for Ohuhu Market. I'm not sure why I changed my mind, probably just because I was too egged out about doing voiceovers at the time, or maybe because I didn't even show me unboxing the markers or anything at the start, like, you know, like the fun part. Either way, it never made it into what I wanted it to be, so I thought, why not we have a chat about it years later. I'm not sure if I used to always do line art first, but there's something about it that I don't really like. I kind of feel like it feels more organic if you do the line art second. I don't know if that's just me or if I don't know, it just makes it feel really stiff to me. With my art anyways, not necessarily with anyone else's. If you know the movies, this is Zero and Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I thought it would be really cool to draw them in a different style, like more so kind of realistic. Not that this is realistic, but not like little puppets. I think it came out pretty cool. I can't sell prints or anything of it, obviously, because it's Disney and they're really scary. Now that we're up to the marker part, which is like the fun part, I absolutely love Ohuhu markers. I only had the bullet nib, the bullet and chisel nib ones because it was hard enough ordering these ones in my country. It was really hard to get them. I'm in New Zealand and sometimes we get things a little bit late. I actually sold my bullet chisel nib ones so that I could order the brush nib ones when they came out. But I couldn't get them. I couldn't get them sent here, even from their website back then. And I still haven't ordered them. I did use Copics as well for this illustration. And they blend together perfectly. Like, it doesn't even matter using the two different brands. You can't even tell the difference. Apart from, of course, the Copics having the brush in it. But they do blend well too. And I didn't have a lot of Copics at this time, so it was really cool to have the Ohuhu to supplement the colours that I didn't have without having to pay crazy prices for the Copics. I wouldn't say that the Ohuhu are better. I think that they're roughly the same. If I had the brush nibs, I would love to test those out to see how durable the, the brush nibs are compared to the Copic ones, but I don't even have my Copic markers anymore because I also sold those. It was a long story, but they are long gone. One thing which I think most people know with the cheaper markers is that the pastels aren't usually as pastel as the colour on the barrel shows, but I think that Ohuhu have brought out pastel markers and I think they are actually pastel, because that's one thing that Copic is very good at, is the pastel colours. I did my best to get her colours right with what I had, and I think it came out okay. I would have liked to see more texture. What I should have done was use the bullet nibs to add texture into the drawing, because it's quite flat. But this was a style I was going for, I guess, at the time. It is a few years ago, so I have changed a bit. Improved, hopefully. I have a whole lot of random brand markers that I really want to try out. I don't think any of them will be as good as the Hohuhu, but we never know. It'll be really interesting to see. I do know that the ones that Jazza had, those ones are very good. I've just recently done a review on them. I think the, the Spectrum Mule, those are very good. I would love to test them against the Ohuhu if I can get some more. If they can be sent to my country. I'm pretty sure they can now. I think this was one of my favourite Copic colours, just a warm tone kind of grey. Warm tone greys are like my go-to for everything, you can use them for shading, 
You can use them on top of other colours to add depth. I did notice quite a few of the Ohuhu markers, the colour definitely wasn't quite matching what the actual marker colour was, but I think they've probably improved on that by now, it has been quite a few years. And it doesn't really matter anyways, if you do swatches you'll know what it is. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this older video. I will have some newer ones coming out soon and definitely some more marker ones, which I'm very excited about. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe by now. I'll see you all in the next one. God bless and goodbye.